Did you know that one out of three students in the classrooms have learning challenges? They might spend too much time trying to concentrate or even doing their homework. Well, joining me this morning to talk about how to actually fix this problem and what's attributing to this is educational psychologist Dr. Lee Delorge along with one of her students, Rebecca. Rebecca can't hear me because she's too busy clapping, but thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, One out of three, that seems like, that seems very high. Are those that accurate? It, yes, it is accurate. 80% um, of children are struggling mostly with cognitive disabilities, and they're finding that there's a lot of motor planning or motor skill disabilities that connect to low grades, low motor skills. How is that connected, the motor skills and the learning? Your, your motor skills, um, if you think in the term of timing and rhythm in the brain, if I were to throw you a ball, right. your eyes watch the ball, your hand come up and, and catches it, hopefully. Right. It's the same thing with learning. You're going to look at a letter, you have to put that letter to a sound, blend those sounds into words, words into sentences. Once you blend the sentences, you have to be able to comprehend. So it becomes a timing and rhythm piece within the brain to be able to process all that information. Can you retrain or train the brain to actually improve in motor skills when it comes to education? Yes, you can. Um, there's something called neuroplasticity. It's a brain um, remapping, cortical remapping, so to speak, where you take the neurons of the brain and you actually process them to other areas so that you can strengthen the deficits. Um, so for example, with what Rebecca's doing right now, she's hearing a series of sounds. Okay. And she's responding to the sound of a bell. In hearing that bell, deficiencies in certain areas of the brain will focus towards it. It's, it's a piece that actually improves the ability to focus and concentrate. Now is this program, it's, it's called Interactive Metronome. Yes. Explain the, inter the interactive metronome is an educational technology that helps to rewire, if you will, how the brain processes information, how it focuses, how it can eventually comprehend. So what areas did Rebecca have, uh, where, where was it most difficult for her? Rebecca struggled quite a bit with dyslexia and she had problems comprehending when she would see the words. Uh, she actually was a student two years ago and um, has, I should let her answer that. She's she okay, can but hear you. she's actually is she, is she hearing? She's hearing a bell, so she is yes. hearing beats or, or some sort of. But obviously, we're not hearing it. So as soon as she hears it, that's when she hits. And how does that help you? Actually, how does that help her learn better? It's rewiring the brain. You're, you're timing yourself. You're rhythm. So if you can see, she's, can you see this? I mean, is it, should I tilt this up a little bit better? I don't know if you. Can. Yeah, you can see. Oh, if okay. You, if you can see where the the ball is moving, if it's real far to the left where it is right now, that's telling her she's going too fast. So she sees it, she hears it. There's cues in her ears that tell her, okay, I need to slow down. So it's causing her to time and pace herself as she pays attention. It's that timing, that pacing, and the cues that actually are preparing the, the neurons in the brain to communicate to other areas so that she can focus more effectively. So are there different things, like if she had a different area where it was more difficult, are there, you know, I'm sure this is a program that has a number of different ways yes. to actually retrain the brain. Turn Honey, you, you want to take off? Uh. You want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So how has it helped you? I know you had some difficulty, but uh, are you surprised at how well this is actually helping you out? Well, yeah. Um, I got to admit, I was pretty surprised in third grade when I got the highest score in the whole third grade on the Ohio Achievement Test in oh, reading. Give me. There, see? I just hit that little thing. <laughs> uh, so, so how excited are you that you know, you're, you're retraining your brain and if you got the best score in third grade, I mean, everybody in fourth, fifth, and sixth better look out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if you, do you want to look into the camera real quick and just say hi to some of your friends at school? Say hi, hi. I'm on TV and you're not, ha ha. <laughs> 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 so depending, and I'm assuming, depending on the child, depending on the difficulty they have in the classroom, I mean, how long does it take? I and mean, we only have about 10 seconds, but okay. how long can you retrain does it, it take? It takes, people start seeing differences as close to six weeks. In six months, teachers are reporting to see huge, parents are reporting to see huge differences. It is sustained 
sustainable. She was with me two years ago. Her scores on this now are just as strong as they were when she completed. I just met you, but I'm very proud of you. So congratulations, sweetheart. Congrats. Oh, thank Thanks. you. <laughs> Congrats. She's congratulating me. Okay, then, because I actually did the interview. There it is, Center for Cognition and Development. It's in South Euclid, 216-924-0087, or go to a doctor's website, drleedelorge.com, for more information. Thanks again. Okay. <laughs> that comedian Jimmy Schubert is live in studio, so we'll be right back.